Now, I want you guys to open and praise the Lord. I want you guys to open your TVs. I don't watch TV. My husband is watching something. I went for hot water because I've been in a season of interceding for COVID patients. God has told me to come up against COVID-19. And to be able to do that, part of what the Lord has taught me is this. Let me show you. Can I show you? I think I can show you. Look at that. So I'm in my room with a humidifier. Okay. And I am in my room with a hot cup of something to drink. And uh, I have to keep on taking also lemon, ginger, and honey. So that's how I'm interceding because my lungs feel like they are on fire. I, I, I'm getting all the symptoms when I'm, I'm interceding. And, you know, and, and, and sometimes it's a headache. And then the Lord uh, leads me to say that, uh, you know, I rebuke that headache and the, and the high blood pressure that is in a patient right now in the name of Jesus Christ. When I do that, it disappears. Sometimes I feel like my right lung and then I intercede and intercede and intercede. Then the pain just disappears. Then sometimes it goes to the back. By then my nose is not running at all. Sometimes it comes in the form of a cough. And the Lord has given me victory because, um, you know, the Lord just, let me tell you, God does amazing things. Last year, I told you guys that God had sent me to the quarantine centers. Okay. I told you guys, God had sent me to the quarantine centers. I was to go in there with the full, without PPE, 
and raise them from the dead. I tried it. I was told, are you crazy? I was even going to get arrested. But somehow the Lord has made a way. Because you know now you can actually visit a COVID patient with special arrangements. So God made arrangements for me as a pastor to go and pray for a COVID patient in the COVID ICU. So I've actually been there twice so far as a pastor. And guess what, guys? I'm standing in that ICU and lifting up the name of Jesus. Instead of the nurses telling me to keep quiet, they're all turning and they're saying, they're doing this, they're doing this. And the beds just started getting empty. The beds started getting empty because I went, I went, um, the first day, then I was told I have to wait at least two days to be able to go again. When I went back, the beds were empty. I was told people were discharged like crazy. So that's the warfare, part of the warfare I've been in, okay? And then after that, I went again the next time. And let me tell you, people who are supposed to be in critical condition were seated upright like this, staring at us and removing their masks and beginning to worship as the glory of God was falling. So that's part of what I wasn't going to do on video, but the Lord has told me to do on video. Have you switched on your television? Because there's something going on live right now. It's the, let me see. I was told, I had, oh my goodness, she did not write what it is. So basically, it's the opening ceremony, I think, of the Africa Cup. It's written CAF, which I imagine it's in, uh, it's in whatever. I go to, I wake up after my humidifier thing. I'm barely getting much sleep. So I think what the Lord, by the way, I've been getting one hour, 15 minutes of sleep. I would like a doctor to confirm whether COVID critical patients get only one hour and 15 minutes of sleep because it's exact. One hour, 15 minutes. One hour, 15 minutes. One hour, 15 minutes. So by, by, by today, I was so exhausted. I was so drained. I didn't think I was going to preach, but the Lord said, you have to announce 2022 and what I'm doing. Get up. Do you know, I got into my, 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 I got into my house. I got into bed and the Lord told me to set an alarm for 20 minutes. Normally it takes me a long time to fall asleep. But within the 20 minutes, but as I'm talking to you right now, I'm feeling like we come home to a many Motoya Pasi at the back. Remember, I told you that the, the time God sent me to go and pray for somebody who had COVID, I began to feel heat on the back. And later on is when I found out that the lungs are mostly at the back. She was coughing incessantly. But as I began to, and the Lord told me not to sit near her, the Lord told me to sit far, turn on worship music, and begin to intercede. And I began to intercede. I was wearing a double mask, as the Lord had told me. I told her, don't wear a mask. The Lord says, don't wear a mask. It's too uncomfortable for you. I'd never seen anything like that. That. someone coughing non-stop and she said that even at night it's non-stop coughing you cannot even sleep because of coughing that is what is called torment okay it's called torment and this woman of god did not have anything for satan to use for torment so that was my first training on gong road so as i'm praying for her i feel like at the, which i'm feeling right now at the back you know, the shape of the lung, the shape of the lung. I didn't even know that was the shape of the lung, to be honest. I wasn't thinking about it. And it was feeling like something hot and it come up or either here and here. Do you know, I noticed, you know, I kept looking like this to see whether it's a sun that's coming in. I didn't want her to notice that I was acting funny. So I was even putting my hand behind here to see whether it's a sun that's coming in. There was no heat over my hand, but there was heat under my hand. And I knew it was the Holy Spirit that was moving. And I said, right now, the Lord is speaking in to you right now. Now, the fire of the Holy Ghost is healing you and instantly saints of God, she stopped coughing and she never coughed again. I shared that testimony live here. Okay. I shared it live. Now, in the, have you, has anybody switched on the TV because it's running li right now? I'm not really much of a sports blah, 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 kind of thing, but it's, I've just, I went to get a cup of, 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 of water, of hot water. And as I got there, I blessed my nanny. She was already back. I said, please give me hot water because my mom was just running me take hot water because she, my mom is a prophet. So as I'm battling this, she knows what I'm battling. So she's just reminding me because I was saying, let me go for a COVID test. And my mom said, no, the doctor told you not to go for a COVID test. They said, if your blood pressure is fine, if your heart rate is fine, if your, if your temperature is fine, if your oxygen is fine and it's at 98%, you do not need to go for a test. 
So she said, drink your hot water. Remember I told you to just drink your hot water. But then my mom was the first person to recognize that I am a prophet. I've shared with you guys the way we've had issues and haven't been able to get along. The Lord has completely healed that problem this last week. My mom and I are back. Today I was sending her a message and telling her, mama, I was with you in the morning, but I miss you so much. And she was replying uh, and telling me, eh, hey, suna kuja. Then I told her, mom, by the way, how is it that I'm missing you so much? And that's how we were with my mom. The Lord has done a work. I told you that this day that the Lord gave me the words, household of faith. We'll build a household of faith. If you haven't watched that uh, video today, proclaiming what's going to happen in 2022, you do need to watch it. And God has begun with my household under heavy attack that the enemy was trying to send against us. We've stood as a prayer front with my mama and we've been pressing in with my mama and we've just been calling on the name of Jesus. My mama is Catholic, so she doesn't really know pressing in so much but she's been listening to everything I'm saying. And then the Lord has been speaking to her and telling her, I'm hearing a voice telling me, and it's exact what the Holy Spirit is saying. She starts singing a song. Now, I'm going to sing for you a song. So have you guys switched on this African thing? It's an opening ceremony. I think it's Africa Cup. Anybody watching the Africa Cup, please, brethren. Okay, let me tell you what's happening in that place. So it's an opening ceremony. It's really beautiful. I'm not so big on opening ceremonies because normally there's a lot of demonic things. Then my husband says, ah, ah, what's that? Ah. So I said, what is it? She said, honey, can you hear? Honey, can you hear? So I start listening to me. I can't hear because I'm hearing bits, but I can't quite hear. Then she says, wait, wait, wait. Then uh, suddenly she said, it started again, the singing. And he said, honey, can you hear that? And guess what they're singing? Bwanawama bwana leo ainuliwe. Bwanawama bwana ainuliwe. Bwanawaja majeshi leo ainuliwe. Imagine, that's what they're playing at the Africa Cup opening ceremony. CAF, I need you to log in and hear it for yourself because I kid you not. On the day that the Lord said revival has begun, this opening ceremony, Bwanawama majeshi leo ainuliwe, open it switch on the tv i hope it's not over yet but they were repeating it over and over if you can go onto youtube and check for it you will hear it with your own ears it's the theme song for the opening oh god jesus revival is finally here jesus it has cost us everything Today, a man of God, uh, who's a dear friend of mine called Bishop Chelule, he posted Deliverance is Lee, where Bishop Tumasim was kneeling down and he was lifting his hands and said, God, do it again. God, do it again. God, do it again. The Lord said that COVID-19 will end in Africa first. They'll keep on trying to find out what is going on. Now, Africa is beginning to unite. We are finding out that there is glory of God in Africa, but also that Africa is the richest continent. We are going to get tired of being told what to do. We are going to get tired of being used as pawns. We are going to get tired of loans. That's what's happening. You know, the other day I saw a message and I wasn't too pleased, but I hadn't prayed about it. The president had signed an agreement with South African Airways that we are going to combine together with Kenya Airways. And I said, South African Airways, it's like a matatu. Please, of all things, God forgive me. Now I understand why we are combining. The pride of Africa together with our South Africa Airways, I don't know what they are called. Now, note this song, Africa Shall Be Saved, came from South Africa. Came from South Africa. Has anybody logged on to the CAF Africa Cup, whether on YouTube. Let me see if I can find it. You are too, too excited. Let me see if I can find it. I don't know if I can find it. But my husband was the one watching. I just went to get a cup of, of, of water so that by the way, one of the things God is doing to me right now is helping me deal with diseases. I was praying for a friend of mine and I began to diarrhea. I've barely been eating. But then, you know, God has been leading me to eat two to three spoons of food every day. Imagine. Or I'll eat two eggs and that's it. And the Lord doesn't allow me to eat the rest. Even when I try, it can't even enter my mouth. And I've just been on a lot of water, a lot of lemon ginger. And that's how it's been. Even when we went on holiday, we were in Amboseli. Somehow I was finding myself going to eat the vegetables. Imagine the chicken was there and all that. And I was just wanted the vegetables. And I was doing it like just one meal in a day or two meals in a day. And then I was sleeping a lot. Little did I know I wasn't going to sleep. I was sleeping nonstop. Until that point, I was like, Kwani ni kona kabol. So uh, let me see if I can find it. 
please, I wish somebody would be a witness. Opening ceremony, World Cup. No, is it a no? It's not World Cup. Uh, ceremony. I want to play it for you. C A F. Oh, it's only coming in because C A F. C F A. In the twenty nine year two, the ceremony bit of it seems to be done. C. It's called. Is it what is it called? C F A or C A F? Africa Cup. Me at I've had to ask my husband many times to tell me what it is. Oh, they are streaming live and the opening ceremony part is gone. Yes, yeah, so you can't find it. I think you'd have to go for a replay. It's AFCON. Okay, somebody's saying AFCON, Asante Lesana. So um, I don't think I'll be able to find that particular part. I don't think I'm that good in uh, whatever. But they're actually, let me see. I don't think I'm that good in that, but you guys go find it. Yeah, go find it. Yes, it's AFCON. Eh? Yeah, Africa Cup of Nations. I imagine that's what it is. So yeah, they are just singing. They are singing. They are playing it as a tune, as a tune, as a tune. And then after that, they go. So gone are the days of Kina Beyonce going and raising, I don't know, Sasha Fierce. And then her eyes are changing and I don't know her or what. Gone are the days of demonic opening ceremonies, at least in Africa. It has been separated. I want you to go check it out. Revival has begun in Africa. Kenya is the launching pad. We had to announce it. We had to announce it in church that revival has begun for it to actually begin. We had to announce it. Okay, somebody? So the place, today I was describing something. When I came from um, that COVID um, ICU, the door that leads to the COVID, out of the COVID ICU into the corridors is a very fortified door. It's a sealed door so that no, I guess, air or, or, or vermin can go out onto the corridors. Of course, the whole area is marked infectious diseases and uh, uh, highly contagious diseases and all that. Saints of God, you can imagine walking into such a ward and people are, let me tell you, when I started writing, is there no bum in Gilead? And I started writing, what is this uncircumcised silly Philistine that defies the armies of the living God? That's when God opened that door for me to go there. And when I went in there the first day, I was, I just felt a great joy. I was dancing as I'm walking in, imagine. So they are looking at me, those who could see me, and they are looking at me like you're, you're jumping for what? Because they're obviously oppression. We shall you on oppression. Oppression by uh, oppression. But by the, by the time you leave that ward, one of the things you do is you get to your car and you whip your head off and then you tell God, forgive me for holding on to material things. Because this life is useless. This life is nothing. Let me tell you, we are flowers fading. We are flowers fading. My daughter had asked me, we had a theme of high tea for church today. My daughter has, had asked me whether she can wear one of my hats. I have very posh hats, but do I say from my corporate working days when I really shopped internationally because I had a really good job. So I have these corporate hats. I think they're like two really. So she had asked whether she could wear, and I was like, there's no way she'll wear my hat, you know, in my head. So I told her, I think about it. So today I remembered she had asked. After going into those words, I came and told her, these are material things, why any? Vaini, why are you go for your issue? Put them on now. Then imagine how she said, I don't need it anymore. My 12 year old said she needed it. Before I went into that world, I would never have allowed my 12 year old to wear it because I would have been like, she'll spoil it or whatever. My 12 year old rocked that thing today. By the today, after preaching, the children came up to me. Children came up to me. First of all, when I got to church, children were just coming to hug me everywhere. Then, after I, and I love children, and part of what God said is that He's using children. When I was leaving church and I just preached, one child came and told me, Apostle, Apostle, may that word you have said come to pass. Mtoto, Mtoto, that little girl is not older than eight or nine. Kukakakidogo, tap, tap, tap from a lower level. You preached well, you preached well. Kukakakidogo, a small one being lifted by the mother and the father. They just want to hug me and I, you know, just hug them and all that revival has begun we are going to see children lifting up the name of jesus we're going to see children prophesying we're going to see children speaking in tongues and children laying hands on other children and they'll be filled with the holy spirit revival is finally here saints of god shikamoto kanamoto 
shika moto kana moto when i say shika moto say kana moto shika moto shika moto so shika moto na ukae na moto it has begun and covid 19 will die this year physically it will die this year because it cannot withstand revival last year god said it was over last year god said it was over it is finished he said it's over so shika moto kana moto so god asked me i already told you people covid 19 is over why are people dying why are people getting sick why is the church walking around afraid and the lord said arise and i will meet you so we have declared a 21 day of fasting beginning tomorrow on monday which is tomorrow we are all praying as kenyans praying for kenya and part of our declaration is come the election we are not going to get caught up in the madness of an election candidate wakitaka kututafuta wanaweza kututafuta kanisani there's a revival i think it was the welsh revival where there was a, it was an election year and the people could not be found the these guys the politicians were going out and nobody was coming for the the elections uh, elections uh, meetings and then they asked where are the people they were told the people there's a revival falling and the people are in church the politicians had to get saved and go to church and i am not prophesying again about who is going to be president i already told you i am not going to push them through because the last time i pushed through i was very disappointed president uhuru kinyan did certain things that have really hurt Kenyans and I was associated with it as a prophet of the living God I refused to be associated with the next president because I said that God has called them and people think that it's because they are righteous and then the person starts doing crazy things and people think that God is choosing unrighteous leaders God has told me no so this year watatutafuta kanisani na hawata si mama kwenye madhabao they will not stand at the altars for us to affirm them because they've been used to using our god they've been used to using the altars by their politicians listen and listen good mungu amesema madhabao itawaangusha madhabao itawaua musisimame kwenye madhabao ili mupate elections do not stand on the altars in churches so that you can get elections god has said that the altars are going to begin to speak because altars have power they are going to kill you you will drop dead you have done it for too long by compromising the priests of god who do not have tithes and offerings some of them are working right with god and so they're in desperate situations of poverty and as a result you have compromised them you give them a million and they are unable to say no the lord is saying this is my altar if you pour money he will kill you if you give money to the church so that you compromise the priest he will kill you himself the altars are going to speak you will be destroyed you will not see the elections and you will go straight to hell you can no longer misuse the church can you hear me politicians it is a it is a revival yeah it is an election yeah but revival comes before election and you will only ascend to the highest seat in the land of kenya if truly you have been washed by fire if truly you have been purified by fire that is what the spirit of the living god is saying when president kibaki became president he had to go through a wheelchair experience he had to be broken and he led as a broken president he was the best president we ever had this time if you really want this country you will have to go to penwell and god will have to break you if you are a thief god will have to change you from jacob into israel that is the process you will go through otherwise we will not have a president in this country and the church is the one that is going to lead the presidency because we do not need a president we do not need a government the church is more than able the church used to lead before the church will lead again hallelujah come on Lord is saying, and I don't know if Facebook will allow me to say this. Aka kauma tuko nako. Mungu wa mesema hivi. Mungu wa mesema kuwa watu wanatumika kwenda kufanya assassination. Mtu anapata hiyo, ako kahoma, anaenda kwa pasta. Anasema pasta ni kona shida fulani. Anaongea kwa, kwa, kwa mdomo lo. My, oh, I really need, I really need shame. Anaongea kwa mdomo lo. Pasta anamkaribia. Pasta anasema toa mask. Pasta hajaeka mask kwa sababu anataka kusikia uyu amempenda. Alafu uyo mtu anafanya pasta. Na hivyo ndiyo pastas wamekufa. 
But the Lord is saying, I'm going to be with you as a mighty man of war. The Lord is saying, no more is this demonic thing going to happen. The Lord is saying, I am a fire around my servants. And you will send those things to assassinate them, to destroy them, to brag that this person who said they're anti this or anti that has died so that you can make your agenda known. And God has said, it is my world. I have not given it to the beast yet. It is not yet time. You will no longer assassinate the righteous using a makeshift kahoma. Mungu diyo venya mesema. Hatuta kufa kwa sababu ya hii homa. Utatutumia na utatuona tukitembea. We will drink poison and it shall not harm us. When we walk through the fire, it shall not burn us. When we walk through the waters, we shall not drown. And you will know that these are the armies of the living God. So come and breathe on us. We have the breath of God. I dare you. This is Mount Carmel. Come and try it. Come and try it. Come and try it. By the way, somebody tried to send it to my family and the Lord said no. And I felt it on the 18th of December and that's when my lungs began to feel like that when I was seated at the table just trying to read and the Lord said COVID and the Lord said begin to arise against it in the name of Jesus Christ. Shakora sante rinka sata ra sante rebo rakashata. We have been polite for a long time and you don't know the power of the church. The church of Jesus Christ is greater than a weapon of mass destruction. We are greater than the Hiroshima and Nagasaki things. We are greater than any uh, nuclear weapons. You have not seen it, but you will see it. The church of the living God and this Kahoma Katakupa in the name of Jesus Christ. Atuitaji masindano zenu, zenye watu wanadungwa, alafu wanaanguka. Kuna mtu alidungwa ako kakitu. Akadungwa, by the babaya rafiki yangu. Alidungwa ako kakitu. Akadungwa uh, on uh, Wednesday. Akambia bibi nimedungwa kakakitu. Alafu akaanza kupata fever na tunini na tunini na tunini. After that, akaanza, Thursday akaanza kutapika. Friday akatapika tena. Saturday akatapika tena. Beshti yangu kanipigia, akaniambia nina peleka dadi hosi. Nikama alidungwa kakakitu na meaza kutapika kuna shida. Waka mpeleka hosi. Hii blood pressure ilikuwa imepanda juu zaidi ya 200. History na isikia zaidi na zaidi kuingine na kuingine. Ilikuwa zaidi ya 200. Bama akademi kumbambia kuna aka kasindano. Alidungwa. Pengine ndio kanaleta shida. Hospital ni kamuambia panako kasindano akasubui. Let me tell you, uyo jama ali collapse. Mara ya kwanza akarisasitetiwa. Mama na mtoto wakaangadia. Wakasema tukimuacha hapa usiku atakufa. Wakakaa na yeye. That man ali resuscitatiwa five times in the night. Five times. Anakufa anamshwa. Maratano. Aka resuscitatiwa all together six times. Basu bui naonge na beste yangu na uliza dadi ya melalaje. Waka sema dadi tumeshinda vita. Tumeshinda vita. Na mipia nilikuwa na mpigania vita. Tumeshinda vita. Lakini ya chani kuambie, dadi ambia ukoka tu saa hii. Nani ya narisatiwa five times alafu na ukoka? Nani anaweza kurisatiwa five times? Brain yake inaweza kufunction. Ana ana anaokoka na ana ana cancel ma vitu za kiama na hizo vitu. By the way watu wenye pia wanagonjeka saa hii walifanya hiyo boriash yama. Kwa hivyo kama baba yako amefanya boriash yama, if your father has won those oath of boriash yama wa kikuyu, wanamalizwa, please get your father to confess Jesus Christ as savior and lord to nullify that boriash yama, to nullify gai mwene nyaga. Lord to do it. Otherwise, wana windwa. Na mungu waezi kuwa protect kwa sabu wana windwa na wame assign to other, wame subscribe to other gods. Let me tell you something. Dadia ka okoka, dadia ka nullify izo nini, izo mashiamaz na nini na nini, alafu tuka kubaliana, amen, atapona, atapona, hallelujah, glory be to God. Wakatoka wakasemati ya tukaoge alafu turudi. Wakirudi dadia likuwa na pumwa the last breath. Na sija kuwa ni kitaka kuambia mtu usichukue ikitu. Na mimi siyezi kukuambia usichukue ikitu. Mungu waja niambia ni kuambia usichukue ikitu. Na zunguza kiswaili manake kiswaili hakita sumamishwa. Kiswaili hakita sumamishwa. Lakini kisungu kita sumamishwa. Kwa hivyo wewe ukitaka kuenda kudungwa. Nenda ukadungwa lakini make sure mungu wame kuambia. Mimi mungu wame niambia no. Lakini wakati ile ni ingia kwa nye hii aota. Nika announce. Mungu wali niambia ni tatimiwa mtu. Ata niletia hiyo gonjwa ili niwe lesson. Nge wandike kwa nye head. Headlines, Apostle Kathy mwenye anti, anti that, at, a, ame, ameanguka kama vile walifanya mag, nani magufuli, kama vile walifanya makaslam, na kama vile wamefanya Dr. Karanja. Mungu aliniwona kaniambia, umeanauzi, watakuletea hiyo kitu 
kwako wewe mwenyewe instead Mungu amenipeleka ndani ya covid ward niende nikaombe ili covid patients wapone na ili hii disease iishe na revival imeanguka in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know how I have preached in Swahili I've never been able to preach in Swahili but let me tell you I've been praying in fluent Kikuyu when I'm praying the Holy Ghost is moving I rise and pray it's time to pray do not bother sleeping more than five hours get into prayer the Lord is going to anoint you to use you as a fire by the way when I was was on the altar preaching today the vision i was seeing in fact not even the vision what i was seeing the lord has been speaking to me and telling me i'm not on fire i am fire god has been telling me you're not on fire you are fire you're not on fire you are fire let me tell you nilikuwa naombea watu nasema release nilikuwa nasikia kama natupa ma fireball kuna covid patient niliombea the other day when venye nilikuwa namuombea i was praying for this uh, covid patient nikimuombea of course the divinely personal protective gear god told me to touch this person and i hold his hand as i touch his hand i could feel as though there were veins of fire moving from my head going all the way down and into the hand i asked the lord what is this the lord said it is healing virtue the man began to cry the breathing began to improve all the levels began to change the next time i met the doctor nikamuuliza huyu patient fulani akoaje akaniambia imagine they have recovered that's what the doctor said so mjue hivyo na mjue hivyo i will give you clear details as we go along acha bidi kuja maji yangu moto and then after that niende nikaombe na madhe cuz nimepatiwa permission na my husband and then to press in na tuendelee ku press in jesus is lord jesus is great by the way let me tell you my mom and i are closer than we ever were kumbe god was going to use us together to pray against this disease my mom is a prophet now i'm going to tell you something else that happened as we were worshiping with my mom this morning and praying with my mom this morning my mom was given a song me you know i was telling her i've been telling her for days this is a song god is giving me this is a song god is giving me this is a song god is giving me then my mom told me now let me tell you the song god is giving me my mom has a very innocent spirit by the way she's like a child and satan had really tried to turn me against her and come back so that i can stop revival i'm going to birth revival with my parents god has told me that and my parents are going to be involved in the revival movement by the way remember i told you that god said that catholics there's revival in the catholic church my parents are catholic that the revival was going to come from the catholic church so this morning my mom starts singing a song i could recognize the song and sing parts of it that song says don't allow my enemies to triumph over me yeah uh that i used to sing from when i was a child i i know that song because of, i used to go to the catholic church in kino in uh, when i was a child but i've forgotten quite a bit of it because it's been a long time i left a long time ago now god told me enter youtube okay and my my, my mom has mida mogeko mida mogeko is a catholic hymn book nikwa na mwitesha madhe amekazana nayo amekatania madhe ko short sighted to anaisoma hivi na amekatana amekata kunipatia imagine nikama hata haniski so god akasema wachana na madhe we ingia youtube nika type mida mogeko let me tell you something the song that was playing oka oka no merera oka oka ne da watu wa mote ya doka oka nita mora waku na doga shoke dhuda i'm going to translate oka oka no merera oka oka ne da watu wa mote ya doka oka nita mora waku na doga shoke dhuda yes thank you ibliff karaoke for translating that song says come come i will make you a fisher of men put aside everything leave everything behind i will make you a fisher of men my i started singing that song out of i've not sang that song since the 80s my mom started crying and i said mom you're being called to be a fisher of men and the lord says the revival has begun in the catholic church i just didn't know that my parents were going to need some kind of revival movement i bless the lord that is what we are bathing that's why i'm at my mother's house of course there's been these attacks that satan has tried to send by the way i've had all of a sudden i've had two of uh, i've had a nephew and a niece get covid out of nowhere but the lord healed them instantly please note that in the last two years none of my family members has had covid at all not anybody then all of a sudden this december my nephew gets it then my niece gets it but all of them turned negative within seven days it was gone by the way right now people are turning negative from covid within seven days do you understand what that means 
I'm going to meet you on another platform ni waambie dawa ya aka kahoma Mungu amenionyesha ameniambia ni nini mtu anatakikana kufanya tafadhali tafadhali I hope sijui kama kesho nitaweza ama kwa sababu hawata nikubalisha nifanye kwenye huu mtandao hawata nikubalisha so kama hauja subscribe to our telegram channel ingia kwenye telegram channel kama unajua ku download hii video download hii video separately kabla wa delete in case wajue ni nini nasema kwa sababu wamekuwa very against vitu kama hizi aka kahoma kako na dawa aka kahoma kako na dawa kuna mtu alijaribu kutuambia hata ile rais mwingine mwenye alikuwa anapigwa na kafukuzwa na watu wengine wakamtukana alikuwa amepata hiyo dawa lakini akafanywa akae ni kama mwenda wazimu hiyo ndio dawa na nitawapatia lakini wakati ile niliandika hapa walishukisha chini na tukapatiwa warning kama mjaingia sozo church of god on telegram ingieni sozo church of god on telegram we have a station there i'm preparing to do a broadcast there ni wafunze size na nini na mtajuaje na ikifanyika mtafanya nini hii dawa nimezungumziwa hadi na watu wa South Africa. These are things that are coming from Africa. God bless you. Africa is raising up cures. Africa is raising up scientific data. The West is dying. The West is dying. The West is dying. Imagine I wanted to try and stop saying that the West is dying but I've ended up saying it three times. Verily, verily I say unto you. The West is dying until they turn to Jesus. The West is dying. They are dying. Their economies are dying. They are crashing and they may not come into Africa to take our economies. The economy of Africa is rising. Hallelujah, Modoli. Africa is rising. They could see it in the spirit realm. Remember food is going to start to get finished, but Africa has agriculture. Africa has the right temperatures. So walikuwa nataka tukufe na aka kahoma, lakini wamejaribu Mungu ametumia jua. Jua imekuwa ikimaliza aka kahoma. Jua ukikatu kwa jua inaanza kumaliza hii homa, lakini si jua peke yake. Nitawafunza. So kwa hivyo jua imekuwa mingi sana Afrika na watu wamekuwa kipona kwa sababu ya jua. Ukiangalia dawa yenye watu wanapatiwa wanapatiwa vitamin D. Vitamin D. Watu wanapatiwa vitamin D. It's one of the things watu wanapewa na ndio sababu watu nakufa kule kwa sababu ya baridi 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 lakini Afrika Mungu amekuwa akituangazia jua kwa hivyo hata venye hii aka kaingine kanaitwa Omi kameingia tu hivi Mungu ametandaza jua ya Januari alafu watu wanapona watu hawakufi na wale wamepoteza marafiki na wale wamepoteza majamii I want to ask you please may the Lord heal you may the Lord heal you I'm so sorry that your family members have gone as a collateral kind of damage but may the Lord indeed reward you because they gave themselves as a sacrifice for the rest of us to be able to live many of them are in the presence of the lord celebrating and rejoicing and so you do not need to mourn like those without a hope god bless you make sure this video goes like fire download it because it's not on youtube kabla wajue ni nini nasema alafu waanze kuitoa download it download it download it to it to me kila mahali i have prophesied many things and it shall come to pass i am apostle kathy kageni oganga a general of god in the land of kenya and into the nations i have spoken it shall surely come to pass i have spoken it shall surely come to pass on this ninth day of january 2022 i have spoken it shall surely come to pass i have spoken it shall surely come to pass i have spoken it shall surely come to pass this is the word of the lord as i have announced as my father jehovah god el gibor and leon has told me to announce you shall see it politicians will die in this election year because of standing at a madabao because of trying to get uh, a of god to speak and say that they are working with them by the way when i was sent to a politician who's a 